Hey going everyone, um, just showing you what I'm up to again. Um, I have gotten a uh, Eaton 350 VA 210 watt. Uh, I believe they're modified. Well, it looks pretty modified to me. Uh, it's a modified sine wave uh, UPS out of the trash. Uh, it was pretty beaten up, a bit broken and stuff like that. So, uh, the bits falling off. Um, no battery in it, but it's fine. It's probably dead anyway. And I'm just sort of pulling it apart and uh, investigating building it into a inverter. So 210 watt, pretty small. Uh, not the most efficient thing in the world. Uh, it'd be reasonably heavy because of a nice transformer here. But uh, yeah, we can work, work with that. So. So I'm just currently I'm just pulling it, pulling it down. I don't intend to use this as a um, a UPS, um, even if I do get it running. Um, I didn't even cut that one. Um, 200 watt uh, is not hugely useful for me. So. Um, Especially in the inverted department, so uh, that is general output. So uh, our input comes in here through our circuit breaker, through our standard um, output sockets. Uh, this is the feed in to the UPS. Let's go to the texter. Okay. In this is USB connector. So I'm just labeling as I pull things off what they are. Um, front panel. Okay. There's some of these cable ties. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty simple. That's our UPS out. Ooh. And that looks to me like a current transformer as well. So um, it looks just this this guy here being right next to the out output socket. Um, definitely sort of makes it look like it's. It definitely looks like a current transformer, so it'll be a certain turns ratio. And then feeds uh, a level back, which is probably rectified, filtered, and then sent back to your micro. So that's a nice little uh, USB board. Um, so we've got our two opto isolators. Nice isolation, cut out, very well done. Um, this uses the power supplied from the USB port to run that chip. So there is no power separately driven for that chip. So it's completely isolated, so that's good. It's always nice. So. And then just uh, the eth Ethernet service protection. So, um, yeah, pretty standard. Um, you've, they've only got six diodes, but okay, six diodes. And then your it's got a glass discharge tube, so that's cool. Couple of fuses, it's always nice. Not sure what the. Oh, weird. Uh, 2 pin to 220 is. So I've never seen that before, so that's different. 2 pin? Yeah, it's definitely 2. V V1. So 2 pin. So, yeah. Okay. A little bit different. So, yeah, there you go. So I'm just working on pulling it all out. Um, that. What will this one be? Just 
charge card. Maybe. And he looks like, um, yeah, DC. Hmm. There he comes. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Yeah, so this one's using the tab of the MOSFET to bolt it to the heat sinks to feed to your... Uh, so that will be uh, drain, that will be a drain on the tab there. So, But, um, it looks like we've got something pointy. Let me go with a screwdriver. Let's go with a pointy screwdriver. That, if we wanted to, we can install another two MOSFETs there. Uh, I don't know about um, our gates. Let me have a look. So there's our gate, there's our gate resistor. So yeah. Gate resistor and they're just in parallel. That resistor is 101, so 100 ohm. So 100 ohm gate resistor, uh, easy enough. And another MOSFET, and you've just halved your resistance, so half your on resistance, so that's great. Um, so by the looks of it, this board, because you can get different models, I wonder. If, because I mean like, these these units aren't going to be very different. I mean it's got 350, 500, and 700 VA. So, so 700 VA, you need two 40 amp fuses. So I've currently got one and that's and that's one of the options. I don't know how well you'll see it, but that's one of the options down here. It's gonna be upside down. So uh your wires probably in the way. So 358 VA which is which is what this one is rated at. But so 350 40 amp one 32 volt or two 20 amp ones. Now I'm wondering if the 758 VA is the exactly the same unit with only a probably to be honest those X two extra more MOSFETs, right? The extra fuse and a software change to change the actual what it's what it will limit the output power too. So these have automatic shutdown, so when you pull too much power, it shuts it down. So that could be the only difference. Uh, assuming the transformer can handle it, which, I mean, I think it should be fine. I don't know if you can fit a big one in there. So, this is 350 watt unit. Let's see if it works. Let's see if I can get it running. And if I can, what it will take to go from a 350 VA unit to a 700 VA. Let's try that and see how we go. Uh, 